Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? No. Where the hell am I? Okay, I need to go this way. Oh, and I need to put my boots back on. Though I might be getting back in the water here in a minute, so let's just... Be careful. Big old dead fish out there. This is the way I came in, right? Originally. Yeah, okay, I don't know why I was black there before. Oh, nope, that ladder was always there. Okay, let me just check. I'm not... nothing missing here. No. Oh, hello. Clogs and folded cloth. Uh, okay, this leads back to the main room. Yes. Okay, and this goes to the basin or something like that. Basin chambers, okay. Let's check the basin chambers map. I think I've seen everything here. Holy crap. I didn't come through this door, did I? I came into the basin chambers from some other way. this be him? Or was it an orc adventurer that I just killed? God damn it, I just killed another orc adventurer. I did come in this way before. Oh, clearly a member of the Kimono Tongue. They're, they're recruiting orcs. How dangerous. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I am a horrible person. Does that give me infamy when I do that? Just out of curiosity. No, it doesn't. I only have one point of infamy. I do, however, have five murders. Sorry. Okay, wait, wait. So this map, have I seen it all? Withered forest. And that's that whole map. Okay. I came in here, killed an orc. <laughs> uh. What time is it? It's dinner time. Right, let's eat really quick. It's gonna be time to sleep soon. I'm gonna have to give up and come back tomorrow. Apple, bread, corn. Okay, last way to go, right? Unless exploring all three opened up this little rock wall here. No, it didn't. Did I check this whole map? It's just that area that's left. How do I get to that area? It's got to be through one of the other areas, right? Oh, what the hell, lag? Jesus. Man. Okay, if you see any orcs, don't just instantly kill them. And this map. It's just that way. 
Everything leads to the withered forest. All right, I'm going to turn this on. Maybe there's a quest marker or something. Nope, doesn't seem to be a quest marker. There was nothing else up here, right? Just a trap in the chest. I'm going back to the withered forest. That does it did seem like the the map with the most weird stuff in it. Like underwater areas and Oh, lost my torch there. hell is this? Oh, it's a floating troll. Okay, I was like, oh, there's some kind of monster in the water. Okay, that goes back the way I came. That's a dead end. This is the surface. Actually, don't use that. Use that. That's not a secret passage. Well, it's the damnedest thing. I seem to have cleared it without finding Major Norali at all. Hmm. Something I missed over here? There is a slaughter fish over there. Is that the one that I couldn't kill earlier? Yeah. It's one of the basin chambers. That I couldn't kill for some reason. Hmm. Dropped arrows of burning? What? Were they damaged or something? Why did I drop them? Somebody who's played this mod before knows what it is I'm supposed to do. Hmm. That's back into that other room. Alright guys. Hang on a minute. Before I waste everyone's time looking around some more, I think I'm going to Google it. Okay, gang, I've looked it up. I think I have to go back to the main room, which is this way. There is apparently somewhere that I missed a pull rope, which makes sense that I would miss it because I wouldn't be looking for a pull rope. I'm looking for like a door, trap door, some kind of opening. So get back to the main room. Okay, 
what's the main way that I come in? This way. Mm. Oh. That. That will open this. Alright. Uh, let's give it a shot. Hang on, I gotta get over this rock. Holy shit. What the? Oh, God. Any more of those? Being very careful. Yep, another one. Uh. Ow. Got me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So that explains it. He doesn't actually have to fight any of these damn monsters. He just pulls that rope and sneaks by them through this secret passage. Smuggler's hideout. rather bright in here. Another hidden area. A lever. <laughs> uh, oh man, really this is the last autosave? Gotta sneak past those traps again. Damn! Okay, did I pull the rope? I don't know. Haven't pulled it. Ow! Ugh, shoot so fast. Damn! What the hell, man? Okay, anyway. Well then... What the hell? There's no way to get in there. There's only that lever. Is there a lever back here? Hmm. Well, I'm perplexed. Oh, wait a minute. Ha ha. Yes, this is all very confusing. I would pull that, but I'm betting it only raises that rock, so I'm not going to pull it at the moment. Alright, I am sneaking into the home of Maidrin Rally to kill him for trying to sneak into my home and kill me. Holy shit. Whoa, he's fast. Steel short sword. Well, it looks like I can camp out in here tonight if I survive. Chainmail Greaves. I'm talking about the Emperor's murder. 
chainmail helmet. Chainmail cuirass. Chainmail gauntlets. <clears throat> There's an entire set of chainmail armor here. Oh boy, kimono tong stuff. Don't think I need any more of it though. I think I have a complete set. And he's only got the queer ass anyway. Coming for you, Maidrin. Oh, I don't have more than one arrow selected. Khajiit? knows that I'm here. Oh, that might be a slave. I don't want to shoot that. Shoot him. Hooray, I successfully didn't murder somebody this time. Hey. Have you come to rescue me? Can you get the key and unlock these manacles? Uh, I'll need to find it first. One of the guards has it. In the house, maybe. Okay. I'll... Looks like you're already unlocked. I'll try to find it. Uh, but first, did I kill... Did I kill Madron already? No, come on, Tong Thug. With a whole bunch of good arrows. Uh, withering. Numbing. Jolts. Frost. Cold and burning. I have too many arrows. He has tong, bold, bone mold bracers, light leather greaves, cuirass. Yeah, I have all that stuff already. All right, before we go digging through this stuff, we should make sure that everybody's dead. Another come on a tongue thug. Hmm. Wasn't there another dude somewhere that I killed? There were three dudes. Or was it just two and I was thinking the Argonian was the third? Alright, into the cabin then. Get the sword ready. Major Norelli's house. Oh. What? Peaceful house music. I'm coming for you. I mean, I'm here for you. I'm paralyzed and dead. Hmm. Lay down and die, perhaps. I broke a whole bunch of arrows. I need to do an arrow case before I go in there. That's what I need to do. Let's do that really quick. He has to know we're coming, though, right? He was ready for us. Anyway, arrow case. Keep those out, put those in, those, 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 
Uh, those. Those. Put in six of those. Oh, and arm some arrows. Okay, now. Madrona Rally! I kicked down the door. Hang on, pal. Got something for you. Vengeance is mine. What the journal say? Huh? Oh. I guess it's complete. I have killed the mastermind behind the attacks on me, Major Norelli. Hopefully his death means that any remaining Tong members will leave me alone. Yeah, we'll see about that. What'd you have, you bastard? Elven short sword. Some thorny, thick bone mold armor. Huh, that might be new, but it also weighs a lot. Gold amulet. Healing. Ah, you did have some strong paralysis, didn't you? The manacle keys, good. A topaz. And another manacle key, I'll take it. Whoa! Gold's all falling down here. And a little bit of skooma. I will have your skooma. Take your carrot. Haha, <laughs> you were just about to sit down and eat dinner, weren't you? Major Norelli is dead. My job is... Well, my safety is... Maybe not assured. But I did get vengeance on a dude who tried to... Invade my home. Uh, that wasn't Elahai either, that was some dude named Ajima, that Argonian down there. So we still have to find Elahai. King's Crest Cavern would seem to be the most likely place. Not only because it's goblins there and we know that he was kidnapped by goblins, but also when we walked by the place, the goblins just spawned magically right out in front of us. So, his journal. Let's check this first. The fact that they spawned right in front of me kind of makes me think that that's modded. This book seems to be Major Norelli's journal. That'd be funny if he wrote that in the front of it. While much of it is coded details of what you assume is the Kimono Tong's skooma ring, there are several entries of note. I mean, long is this? Not too long. Entry 1. I have been sent warning from Mornhold. Some Imperial Fetcher broke into the tomb of St. Dranas and stole the Star of Saran. I have the Star of Saran. Sacrilege makes my blood boil. Just another symptom of how our once glorious nation has degener degenerated under those damned Imperials. I must consider how to retrieve the holy relic and mete out justice to this Maxentius Aloysius. Oh, good, he hated Maxentius too. Entry 2. Unfortunately, Aloysius is a cautious sort. He has taken over a small town near the Imperial City and is hiring guards to protect himself. Any assassination attempt will be difficult. Perhaps a spy planted among his guards? If only I had the men to spare. Entry 3. New arrivals from Vivek today. A girl and a boy. That must be Marina and Milos. The troubles on Vardenfell are growing worse. Our judgment for letting St. Nerevar be reborn is an outlander, clearly. While barely competent, I believe I have a use for the boy. He can be my spy amongst Aloysius' guards. The girl should make a useful hostage to ensure his good behavior. Besides, she can earn her keep in other ways. Oh, poor Marina. Entry 4. Blast it! All that work ruined! Some damned Enwa of an adventurer has killed Aloysius. Oh, that was me! My spy is gone, dead or fled. Dead? I know not. As to our holy relic, it is lost in the fighting. I have it. I must make contact with the spy. Perhaps he knows what has happened. I will send Orvas Arethi with the girl as his hostage. He's good on his feet, and the girl bores me. Yeah, that's right, that was the note that got left for Milos that we found when we went to rescue Marina. Another setback. Orvas Arethi is dead. The girl fled, and I am further away from both the star and justice than I ever was. 
I will dispatch assassins at once to kill this Swit, who ruins all my plans, and scour Alosius Manor for the relic. They must not fail. Our honor depends on it. That's when they invaded my house. Entry 6. My assassins are dead. My plans lie in ruins. I am certain that the adventurer knows about me now. Despite my grip on Shadenhall, someone will talk. They always do. No matter. This place is as good as any for our final fight. I will send word to Morrowind, and then I will prepare. I will have the star and restore our sacred honor, or my life will be forfeit. I'm going to take that. Okay, so he wasn't... Well, he was a bad guy. He made Marina into a slave, and held her as ransom over Elosius, uh, as over Milos. <laughs> um, but even so, he was doing it for noble Dunmer reasons. Goofy, as that sounds. He was trying to help return the Star of Saran to St. Dranus's tomb. Apparently he felt that that was a sacrilege that had been removed. Maxentius had been a bad guy and removed it. Hello, have you come to rescue me? Yes, I have the key. Let me unlock those. Free at last! Free at last! How can I ever thank you? Where can I go? I do not know if I can make it back to Morrowind. Uh, that's not a good idea, an Argonian in Morrowind. You know what? I have a home in Way. It's called Wickseed Manor. You're welcome to join me there if you'd like. Much better choice than Morrowind, I am sure. Okay, see ya. I'm gonna scope this place out. It's gonna take a while at this... Oh, wait. I'll take that. Take a while at this rate. There's so many freaking containers here. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. What time is it? Oh, god, it's one o'clock in the morning. Skooma. Um, sure, I'll take the skooma. I'll either sell it or something. Quill? Uh, no, I don't want the quill, I want the coins. Leak. Ah, some food? Anvil rye bread. Ah, nice. Take it all. Hard wooden chest. More skooma. Keeps his skooma in locked chests. More food. Another hard chest. Probably with skooma. What do you know? I was right. I have a ton of skooma. I better be careful not to get arrested. More skooma. And three gold. Fame of 14, I guess because I finished another quest. And yet more skooma. <laughs> Hourglass and yarn. Bread. And lastly, cheese and an onion. Okay, we need to eat a meal and we need to get some sleep. And we are going to sleep in here. Oh, wait, there's this way to go, too. Ah, uh, okay. This is probably way back to the, yeah, it's the way back to the main entrance, I'm going to say. I'll actually probably just sleep over here. Subtle rattle and lo of lockpicks and falling lock tumblers is music to your ears. Your increased skills have made you a journeyman of security. When you pick locks, only two tumblers will fall when you break a pick. Nifty. Doesn't do me much good with my unbreakable lockpick, but it's a skill increase. Also, I need to level up when I sleep tonight.
Yeah. New. And... No. Well, I'm gonna sleep right here. Hopefully I don't get fleas tonight. Let's eat a quick meal. Thirsty. Very thirsty. Killing enemies is hard work. Some bread. A whole bunch of cheese. Um... Onion, potato, and garlic. We mixed up some kind of some kind of meal there, and a strawberry. Okay, now sleep. Eight hours of sleep at two o'clock in the morning. So that'll be ten a.m. when we wake. I think we'll head back to um, Shaden Hall first, unload some stuff, and then march back to King's Crest. Uh, not King's Crest. Um, what is it called? Breakneck Lair. To try to take out those goblins and possibly find Elhai. Level 24! The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck, but I know I've earned every ounce of my success. Okay, so I don't have to take personality anymore. I think I will take speed and agility on account of plus 4 to agility. Um, I think endurance. Or more strength, maybe. No, endurance. Exit. Level 24. Huzzah. Yeah, the levels are slowing down now. We're getting fewer and fewer of them. Every There's more and more episodes between each level up, I think. Let's just really quick check out the stats, then. Level 24. Herbalist. Born under the thief. I'm a dark elf. My name's Nebish. 246 total health, 195 magicka, 320 fatigue, strength 70, intelligence 35, willpower 42, agility 91 with the bonus, speed, excuse me, 77, endurance 67, personality 75, and luck 60. We're already 20% of the way to leveling up again. Athletics at 67, blade at 69, alchemy at 54. Acrobatics at 51, Light Armor at 53, Marksman at 81, Sneak at 72. Sneak is about to, soon to level up to Journeyman, which means, or no, Expert rather, which means there's no sneak penalty for running, which is nice. Marksman will follow shortly after, which gives me a chance of Knockdown, and then Blade soon after that, which uh, allows me to do the backwards power attack, but I've not even thought to do the sideways power attack very often, so I don't know how much good that'll do me. Armor at 27, Block at 20, Illusion at 23, Mysticism at 19. Myst Ooh, Illusion will soon be 25. Well, not soon. It'll be a while yet, but when it is, I can finally cast that Night Eye spell. Restoration 17, Mercantile 57 with the bonus. Security 50, and Speechcraft 34. We've been in Cyrodiil for 82 days. Going on three months now. And that's it. That's the end of this play session, everyone. It was a really active one. Got a whole, we cleared this whole dungeon and killed our mortal foe. Uh, so until next time, everyone, take care, and I will see you around.